With the release of the new iOS 17, Apple has brought some really interesting changes to iOS, and one of them is the new standby mode. So in this video, we're taking a look at some of the best standby mode widgets that you can get on your device right now. Now, even though the standby widgets on iOS 17 look exactly the same like the ones on the home screen, they actually don't work the same way and not all the widgets that you have on your home screen will work on your standby mode as well. They will have to be optimized to work with the new standby mode. So here I have a few that you can install right now on your device. We're starting things off with an app called iScreen. This app offers some pretty cool widgets for the standby mode on your device. Now, when you add widgets from this app, you have to have two of them. So you will have one on the left and one on the right side. And as you can see, they combine together and give your standby mode a really cool look. So once you have added the widgets from this app on the left and on the right side, all you have to do is just tap right there to go to edit the widget and then tap on the widget and make sure you tap here where it says current widget and then just of course pick the widgets from the list. Make sure you always put the left on the left side, the right on the right side and then of course you will get this amazing look on the standby mode of your device. Next up is CPU X. Now with CPU X you will get a bunch of different information regarding your device and your data right on your standby mode. Now here we have one of these widgets. It has quite a few of them. So this one will show you how much data you have used today. Then you will have one here with the information regarding your device. And then you will have one here with the flip clock which looks pretty cool. So it offers actually quite a lot of different widgets that you can add to the standby mode, always displaying some really important information. Power to you is up next is this one right here. It only offers one widget for the standby mode of your device. I really love this widget because it shows you the battery percentage of all of your devices. So here I can have up to four different devices and the way it works, you install the app on your iPhone and you have to have it on your other devices as well. And then it connects via iCloud and it will display all the battery percentages of your device right here. So here I have the battery percentages for my other devices, my Apple Watch, my other iPhones, and on my MacBook, for example, I can have this app and again, see all the different percentages for all the different devices. Next up is Flighty, this one right here, it allows us to track flights. Now once you have added a flight on the app, you can now see the flight on your standby mode. So you can see here the departure and the arrival time, of course the flight number right there and where it's going. And you will also have a second widget which actually will show you your history and of course all your stati statistics right here. So it's actually pretty cool as well, it shows you how many miles of flights you have tracked and all that stuff all right here, how many times you have been around the world, that's pretty cool as it shows right there. World Clock is up next. Now with World Clock, you will have a bunch of different like clocks you can add to the standby mode. Like this one right here where it shows your local time and it shows the current day and date. And then we have another one which shows two different time zones. So you can have your local one and another city right there. And then we have another one with four different time zones. Now, of course, you can add these cities and edit them on the app so whatever like cities you want to see here you can just pick any city you want and of course see them all the time right here on the standby mode of your iOS 17 device. Social stats is up next now this app will allow you to see your social stats on the standby mode. Now it has some features that are paid. A few of them are actually free. This one is free. You can track your followers. You can track also your followers for other, some other social media websites, but it doesn't actually work with Instagram without paying, but it works with some other ones that you can display right here. Now all you have to do is tap and hold the widget and just enter the username of the account which you wanna follow. So you tap on the widget here and just go to account and then simply like enter the username here. Of course, once you have registered the username on the app and you're good to go, you can switch between different accounts from here. Next is documents. Now documents is a pretty popular app on iOS and now it supports the standby mode as well and it has quite a lot of different widgets. This is one of them, your recently played music. Then you will have your recent files here as well, of course. At any time you want to open them, you can just tap there. You can see that little arrow, which indicates that you can open this within the app. Then you will have here also 
the play music button so you can just start playing music right away from your standby mode and then we have sports alerts now with sports alerts you will be able to track any game you want directly from the standby mode so you can see the results right here or you can see the upcoming games of your favorite teams now you can of course always edit the team that you see here so you tap on the widget here and you can choose the source there maybe your favorite teams or any of the leagues that you want from any of the sports and then of course go to team right here and you can pick any team that you want to follow and then you will see it right here so the upcoming games or any recent games if they have played they will be shown right here next up is outlook if you use outlook on your device of course to track your emails and all that stuff it has three different widgets that you can use with a standby mode so you can see your day right here and everything all the tasks everything that you have to do today then we have another one which lets you just tap here to quickly start a new message with outlook and then you will have a third one which shows you your events what you have to do in the next 24 hours so you can see all right there will be all the events and of course you can even tap the arrows right there to move between different days two stories is up next now with two stories you will be able to track your instagram followers for free right on the standby mode of your device as you can see right here you have your photo right there the name of your account the followers at the top and it even shows you how many followers you have gained on the past few days which is really cool now of course adding this like account here is pretty simple again you just force touch on the on the widget here and all you have to do is just tap on the widget and just enter the username here without the ad symbol and you're good to go another pretty popular app that offers standby widgets for ios 17 is google chrome you can start a search directly from here or the chrome dino game directly from here as well so the chrome app has been updated to support ios 17 and as you can see these are the two new widgets that also support the new standby mode the next app is called quick as you can see it right here it offers a ton of different widgets for the standby mode it does support the standby mode you can just simply add save the widgets within the app and then right here on the standby mode you can use any one of them you want from this app as you can see this one right here which is pretty cool it shows your charging state the current time and date and of course the name of your iphone then we have another one for the current date which looks pretty cool and we have another one for your connectivity status so it shows whether you have any of these turned on or off and you will have a bunch of different widgets to choose from the app so that is it for this video guys these are some of the best standby widgets that you can get right now on your ios 17 device hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one